to be cool or whatever, but if it's not about money, I really don't want to talk. Welcome back to another video. If you're new here, my name is Kyra. Do not forget to like, comment, and subscribe to your girl. So today I just do like a little quick get ready with me. I discuss some random topics, honestly, that's going on in my life and some stuff that I just went through or whatever. A random ramble while doing my makeup and getting ready because I wanted to get cute. So, so yeah, girl, and then before we even get started into this video, I want to get into my JBW Crystal 34 watch. I'm going to explain more why I love it right now. Hey girl, before we get started into this video, I wanted to tell you guys about my new JBW Crystal 34 watch. It's so sleek, but first we're going to get into the JBW packaging because this box is everything. It's so sturdy and I'm always traveling, so I love to put my watch in here so it doesn't break. Now we're going to get into the watch. It has 12 real diamonds and it's surrounded by Cervosky crystals. So yes, like I said, 12 real diamonds. So it's going to shine just how you want it to. It's going to look so bougie and sleek. And I feel like this watch just levels up an outfit. And that's what I love. My accessories matter. And I love that this JBW watch, you know, elevates my outfit. And I love that this watch has a round face on it, which is just gonna give you like that effortless, classy look. And I feel like this watch is perfect for that girl that is very classy, but at the same time, you know, every girl wants to, you know, make a statement with their outfit. So this JBW watch does exactly that. And like I said, accessories really matter when it comes to an outfit. So this watch is gonna be that sleek, effortless classy statement to top off your fit without even trying too hard y'all this watch looks so beautiful on your wrist it's gonna glisten ice me out i love it and also i do like to pair my watch with a bracelet or something else just because i like to stack my watch because i love a good arm candy so you'll be able to grab your own JBW watch as well. All you need to do is click the link down below and use code Kyra O J B W to save some money. I know some of y'all have been trying to use my old discount code, but unfortunately they gave me a new code. So, so yeah, it's Kyra O J B W. And like I said, just click the link down below, use my code and enjoy. So anyways, y'all, let's just get started into this video let's talk about it hey girl what's poppin welcome back to another video if you're new here my name is kyra do not forget to like comment and subscribe i probably said this twice because it's just it's just like you know you know it's a habit so anyways i just wanted to sit down with y'all and do like a little chat chit chat get ready with me um i don't know if i'm gonna touch base on everything like as far as like a life update because I kind of want to, but then it's like, I want to like let y'all ask me topics and stuff like that. Cause I really have it. I didn't ask y'all on Instagram, but I wrote it on Twitter. So make sure you follow me on Twitter. And yeah, I just was like, you know what? I want to do a get ready with me. My hair is done. I want to talk to y'all a little bit. So might as well. And this is my first time. This is my first time actually filming in this room doing my makeup for real because my mirror broke and i'm kind of nervous right now because i don't have a big mirror to look at but just a small one yeah so anyway so i'm just gonna go ahead and start my makeup because yesterday girl i was real cute yesterday i was real cute i was gonna film my get ready with me but time just got the best of me i'm always late i'm really bad with time i need to get better and um so I wasn't able to film it because by the time I got out the shower, it's like 8.40 and my reservations was at 10. So, but yeah, anyway, so we're just going to get into this makeup and I'm just going to chat. So I just primed my face with the Milk Hydro. I feel like I do the same skin. I mean, I feel like I do the same makeup all the time. So I really don't need to explain anything. I don't have anything new. I did my brows already. Skin looking good. So recently I got 
Botox in my underarms. A lot of people want me to talk about this. Um, I don't know if y'all know this, but I've expressed um, throughout a couple of my videos that I really do sweat a lot. First of all, I had hairy armpits. I had to go get laser for that. And now my armpits are just going crazy sweating, girl. Like, it's embarrassing at this point. Well, at that point, it was embarrassing for me. So I'm like, you know what? I'm gonna just get Botox because I heard it works. So basically, it's hyperhidrosis. So basically, what Botox is supposed to do is supposed to help your underarms and those sweat glands in your underarms stop producing too much sweat. So girl, I was like, I need that. I need that ASAP. So I seen the people that I go to from like my fillers and stuff, um, they did this one girl and I hit them up. I was like, oh my God, I really want this done. Like I want this. So I hit them up, booked a flight to the shy. I was in and out. I literally booked the flight and was like, I need to get this done. I don't know what happened like when I moved here, but I never sweated so bad ever since I moved to Atlanta. Like, it came to a point where it was embarrassing for me when I was out in public and obviously it's hot outside and I would just be sweating and my sweat stains, well I couldn't even lift up my my arm or anything because it would show. I just hated it. I was like, oh my God, I need to um, get this under control. It didn't hurt. It was like a little pinch, you know, it's a needle so it's gonna sting a little bit. So basically, um, so I give the pain like a seven out of 10. It wasn't that bad. And then she moves quick. She moved really quick, so. If you have hyperhidrosis as well, I really suggest you get Botox in your underarms. I'm not sure if you can place it anywhere else, but it has helped me. I have seen such a huge difference. I barely sweat in my underarms anymore. I mean, I sweat, but it's not like, you know, a sweat stain or just dripping wet. So I'm really happy that I um, went to go do that procedure. And y'all, like, I just been really like going through a lot of emotions. It's just a, it's just different once you move, you just start feeling a whole bunch of different emotions in a funk lately i don't know why or what it is i just feel like something is missing sometimes and i don't like feeling like that i hate when i feel like that so i kind of when i start to feel like that i focus more on youtube than instagram sometimes because in youtube i can vlog when i'm in a mood you know what i'm saying i can vlog when i'm in a mood but sometimes on instagram i may go ghost sometimes and because i'm not in a mood so most days I don't post or anything like that. <laughs> and I become like MIA in distance. Hold on, I need to go with my video. But yeah, I get in these moods where I just don't wanna post, I don't wanna make content, I don't feel like, you know, being social with anybody. I just wanna be in my own little bubble. Because um, obviously I'm from a smaller town, y'all, and I'm really friendly. So I've been coming across situations where I'm too friendly to people that I encounter because obviously I'm just getting to know people out here and stuff like that, trying to, you know, figure people out and their vibe and stuff. And at the end of the day, I'm really friendly. I'm not mean or stuck up. I'm really social with people. If I am very comfortable, I can get the chatting. I can get the talking all day. And that's my problem. Sometimes I can talk a lot thinking these, whoever I'm talking to, um, has good intentions like me but sometimes some of these girls just do not have <laughs> good intentions they start acting weird and I just don't I just don't fuck with those vibes like if you start acting weird like if y'all see me stop talking to anybody this year I sort of got it's because they've been on some weird ass shit okay it's just a lot of weird vibes so I just tend to like fall back and be like you know what fuck this shit I need to just fall back be in my own lane like I don't even want to be social no more I don't want to talk to nobody I was talking to my friend Shayna and I was telling her, I was like, girl, I'm learning a lot of lessons out here, like no cap. And she was like, girl, this is not little Wisconsin no more. I'm like, I know, I know. It's not, it's definitely not. But it's just stuff that I need to go through and just I just need to, you know, move a different and act accordingly. So yesterday, y'all, if y'all aren't new, my friend Keisha. She announced that she's having a child, which I already knew, but it's crazy that she's gonna have a baby. And y'all were saying, um, what did y'all say? 
somebody was like you're next and i'm like oh definitely not next like definitely not i feel like i just really want to secure my bags before i even get a child and i feel like a child i need to have the right partner because obviously i have daddy issues and i just want my partner to be there with me the full way like hopefully that happens to me where i find my soulmate and this is who i'm supposed to be with have a baby with and stuff like that but it's crazy she's gonna have a child like it's so crazy <laughs> I'm so happy for her though. But yeah, y'all, I just really been trying to focus on more of my career content rather than being social out here in Atlanta. Um, ever since that one video, I don't know if y'all remember, like when I went to a taste party, I was like, I need to check myself because I was supposed to go back at home and get some work done. Now I'm starting to like, you know, discipline myself. Like, no, I gotta work. I can't, I can't do it. So I'm really soaked into my work life than a social life right now, especially since these incidents been happening with these females and stuff like that. I'm just like, ugh, like I just wanna stay in my own lane and I don't even care to like meet people for, I mean, I wanna meet new, new friends or whatever, but it's just like, I just don't have the energy to do that shit no more. Like we can be cool or whatever, but if it's not about money, I really don't wanna talk. Like, I don't want to talk, like. And another thing that I'm really um, trying to do better at is like, you know how like your friend might introduce you to somebody, your friend might introduce you to somebody um, and you know, whatever. You think that that other person is cool, but at the end of the day, that other person is really just your friend's friend. It's not, they're not your friend. That's your friend's friend. So me, sometimes I'll get introduced to like girls or whatever. And um, I feel like, oh, they're cool or whatever. But little do they, do I know, they don't even fuck with me. They not even cool with me. Like, <laughs> so I just had to come to the conclusion that I need to stop being so friendly. Oh, what am I doing? I don't even do that. Everybody is not your friend. Like, you know when your mama was like, everybody is not your friend. Now I know what she was talking about, for sure. My TV is, my mom's supposed to be coming out here. So, back again. She had to go back home um, for like two seconds. And she's coming back out here. She won't, I don't know why she won't let me just pick up my own TV by myself. Like, some of y'all probably are like, oh, like, why is her mom doing all this, that, and the third? Um, it's just because I like to have my mom live through me as y'all can obviously know that we're from a small town and I'm pretty sure my mom didn't think that she would have a daughter that would move to a big city and live in a high rise with all these windows and like this new apartment where I wanted to be modern and she likes interior design she likes to design stuff she likes home decor and stuff like that so I let her do her thing in here because I want her to live through me. I want her to, you know, have something to look forward to as far as like decorating my house and stuff like that, just so it can be something exciting in her life. Because, you know, that's exciting sometimes like for pe some people. So I let her, you know, and she has a better eye than me, obviously. She has a better eye than me, so I just let her do her thing. Um, I know some people are like, why do, Why is she letting her mom make all her decisions, blah, blah, blah. I'm not letting her make all my decisions, but I do um, love my mom's opinion. Y'all know that one TikTok where like <laughs> the you're call it, they're calling their mom, it's like a sound, and they're calling their mom like, Ma, this uh, phone bill supposed to blah, blah, blah. What am I supposed to say? That's me, 100%. Like, I, if my mama knows something about me and she's all witty, like I'm comfortable. I'm comfortable with her, you know, backing me up on stuff. And you know, I don't let nobody else judge me. As long as my mama's not judging me, I don't care. As long as my mom agrees with what I'm doing, I don't care, like I'm doing it then. Because, I don't know, that's my mama. And she has my best intentions. Obviously, I have my own opinions. Like, if she, I don't like something, of course, I'm going to be like, oh, I don't like that. And she kind of gets mad a little bit. But <laughs> but at the end of the day, I choose what I want in my house. So. 
but I want y'all to ask me topics on what y'all want to know so I can answer them as far as like a life update um as far as like topics and stuff so yeah and also I need to start trying because obviously I'm doing like kind of like sometimes day in the life of an influencer living in Atlanta so I really want to try doing restaurants bro like I I don't know why Sometimes I'll be like, oh yeah, I wanna, I'm gonna go try this restaurant today, blah, blah, blah. But then I'll be like, fuck this shit. And also y'all, I didn't post this on my story, just on my close friends. But I recently just got, I'm in a process of getting a tattoo removed. Um, I'm not gonna tell y'all where it is or what it is, but just know it's getting on my body. And um, I was really scared because I heard that tattoo removal really hurts. Um, it's a, obviously a laser, but I get laser hair removal, and I told the girl, I was like, I get laser hair removal, so she's like, oh, it's nothing like that, and I was like, oh, and I was like, does it hurt? She's like, yeah, it hurts, but we have this machine that blows out negative 17 degrees air, like cold air, so you won't even feel it, so she was like, okay, I'm gonna put this on you, and then we're gonna do like a test, and I was like, okay, and girl, when I tell you I did not feel a thing, I was, she did it so quick and it's so small the tattoo is so small but yeah the tattoo is so small y'all like she said it won't be that long until it goes away so my next session is um in a month and she's gonna go over it twice so that um it can speed up the process which i'm excited y'all i have the blush that kylie jenner uses the dior and i love it so much y'all have to get your hands on this if y'all love blush girl i'm telling you this it looks crazy like barbie doll uh like pink like it will look crazy on your skin but it's not but yeah girl this blush is bomb you need to grab it i'm telling you if you like if you like blush and love like rosy cheeks girl you need to get this okay Period. It brings so much color to my face, so much life. I need to get a bigger mirror because I cannot see. <laughs> I cannot see. And then I seen this TikTok. He was like, if you really want to be a bad bitch, put it on yo, on top of yo, what is this called? Eyebrow. And I was like, oh, okay. Okay, I see you. Y'all, my battery is dying. This is another reason why I had to move fast because my battery was just, ugh. I feel like this get ready with me went so fast. So I'm gonna charge my battery a little bit. I really need to go get another one. So I don't have these issues. I'm gonna finish my face. And I'm gonna come back and do the lip combo. And then um, I'm gonna come back with my hair and my outfit on. So, and we'll do like perfume and stuff, so. Okay, y'all, so I just finished my hair. It's giving very much glamour. Y'all, I miss wearing my hair like this, like a middle part and big curls. I love it so much. And I also, um, I want to show y'all my outfit. So I have on this BBX brand little two-piece. I had to get my shorts tailored because um, I'm going to stand on the chair. Because I kind of wanted them a little shorter because I was going for like a girly more girly or dressier look obviously i mean it's a cute set but i really wanted to you know come through with a a look and i just topped it off with my crystal 34 jbw watch which i have seen in the beginning of the video so yeah and then also because y'all always ask me my lip combo and i'm really been obsessed with it because when i took jasmine's class she was like the morphe lip glosses are so good and y'all know morphe is very very cheap i use the free bird by morphe and then I topped it off with this um, Madeline by NYX. And then I just um, did MAC Cork for my lip liner. So yeah, that is it for this Get Ready With Me. I hope you guys enjoyed. Do not forget to like, comment, and subscribe. Oh, and the fragrance I have is Onyx by Rebel Sense. Hold on one second. So yeah, girl, that is it for this video. I hope you guys enjoyed. And do not forget to like, comment, and subscribe. And do not forget to check out the JBW Crystal 34 watch. Girl, it's my go-to right now. So, yeah, do not forget to let me know the topics um, y'all want me to talk about in my life update. And also, um, what was I going to say? The restaurants. Do not forget the restaurants. Thank you. Anyways, I love y'all so much, and I'll see y'all next video. Bye.